Hello everybody, so today we're going to be working on a Swift side project using Coco. Um, this is to teach you how easy it is to make Mac applications using Swift. Now, if you ever signed up for the Mac developer program, you might remember your first Mac app called TrackMix. It was a text field, a slider, and a button where you can move the slider and it would continuously update in, in the text field to show the position of the slider. And when you press the button, it would make the slider go back to zero and the text field would display zero. So we're gonna make that today. It's really simple to make. So start up a new Xcode project, so a Cocoa application. Uh, make sure your language is set to Swift and not Objective-C. We're gonna call this track mix. All right, I'm gonna save it right here. Okay, now we're not even gonna use the app, dele app delegate we're just going to use the view controller and the main storyboard. So let's take a look at the view controller. They tell you exactly what each function does with a comment. So when it says variable represented object did set, it tells you that you can put in code here to update the view if it already loaded. And here it says view did load. Do any additional setup after loading the view. Now we're not going to use this function today, we're just going to use this function and some other things we're going to be creating later. Alright, so let's start. I'm going to open my assistant editor and close this out. Okay. So let me just get it. Alright, now we're going to design the app using the view controller, which is this. Okay, I'm just going to move it up a little closer. Now, first of all, let's add things. So we go into the object library. We're going to add, first of all, the push button. Uh, it doesn't have to necessarily be a push button. That's just what we're using right now. I'm going to change it to say mute, which is what the button said. Okay. We're going to add that text field. And then we're going to add a horizontal slider. The other one was a vertical slider. I'm using horizontal because I really don't want to have to change uh, the view controller. I like to bring this out a lot. And come on. I'll line you up later. Okay, good. Now just, just, just make this a little smaller. Okay. So now here's what we do if you press Control then click and drag from one of your objects it'll create this little line this allows you to connect the object to your code so you can actually manipulate it programmatically All right. so you can either make an outlet or an action an outlet is created if you want to receive or send out information or data but an action is created if for example when they push on the button something has to happen all right, so let's create some outlets in an action. So let's insert an outlet for the slider. We're going to call it slider. Nope. Here, wait. Let's do that again. All right. So we're going to call it slider. And then we're going to have the text field. I'm going to call it text field. Then we want the button. So the button is going to be an action, and we're going to have an action for the slider. So let's add the button first. So change the connection to out action. And I'm going to call it mute. You can call it button clicked if you want. And I'm going to action, add an action for this. So connection action, and I'm going to call it slid. All right, so first, let's configure this. All right, so now we have text field and slider. Now we want to get the position of the slider, and we want to put it into the text field. How do we do this? So first, we call the object text field dot 
string value. Okay, string value is basically what's being shown in here. And that's going to be equal to slider dot string value. Now this is just the position of the slider put into a way we can read it. All right. So right now, that's basically all it's doing. So if I were to run this, it would basically display the position of the slider as you move it. Now, there's something we need to do. We need to make this continuous so that as we're dragging, it updates. So let's do that right now. Now, we can't do it in the functions because something I noticed is that until you actually move it to a position, so if we set uh, the continuity of the slider here, until you actually move it once, it won't start updating. We have to do it right here. So right now, I'm going to do slider dot continuous. I'm going to set that equal to true. Now, if you remember, there used to be uh, yes and no. That doesn't exist anymore. Well, at least it does. It's just not going to work correctly. You use true and false. Okay. Now, there's also something else I wanted to do. I want to set slider, that string value, equal to zero. And I want to set the text field, that string value, equal to zero as well. Because I want them to start off at zero. Okay. Now, if we were to run this, it would look like this. And as we move it, it updates continuously. Now, this is almost exactly the application track mix. It's working perfectly right now. All we need to do is set up the button. So now, if I set up the button, mute does exactly what these two lines of code do. Okay, so I'm actually gonna just copy these and paste them in. So you have the slider dot string value is equal to zero and the text field dot string value is set to zero. Now you can do a lot of things uh, in regarding the design. I'm not gonna do anything else. This is going to be at its almost basic level. If you guys want to screw around with the design, you can build it however you want to build it, but just make sure you have the three fundamental things, the text field, the slider, and the button. So now this starts off at zero, but it's in the middle. I changed that just a second ago, and this starts off at zero too. Now if we update it and we press mute, it changes both back to zero. As you can see, this program is working perfectly. If you guys would like source code, it's in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. I've gained about 12 subscribers in the past five days. So thank you all for watching and subscribing. I'll be putting out videos uh, as time goes on. If I have internet, um, when I go overseas, I'll upload. But if I don't, I'll make videos and upload in bulk when I get back. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.